So I'm going to show you how to make this little shoulder bag. It's quite a good size, as you can see. The side and the handle is all in one. And then this part with its little fold over, I took it in a little bit so that I could get the fold over to go nice and neat. Now you can put a nice couple of big buttons on there if you want. You can line it if you want. It is really quite soft, so it's really easy to line. Just put a piece of liner in. I'm not very good at sewing, so that's why I didn't put a liner in here. But you can put a line in it if you want. Now I'm going to show you how to make this bag. And believe it or not, this bag was made using these sticks. These are called, a lot of people call them weaving sticks. These ones that I got are actually called weaving needles. They're made by Playbox and I got them off Amazon from a company called Creative Models Limited and they were only £1.75. They're 20 centimetres long and there's 10 in a packet. So £1.75 for 10 of these weaving sticks is amazing because all the other ones I saw were like packs of six and they were like six ninety nine. Some of them were much more expensive and all they are, a lot of them are just doweling. It's just round doweling with a hole drilled in the middle and then you put your wool through or your thread, whatever you're going to weave with. You put it through the hole, I'll show you how to do that and then you just weave your wool back and forward. So I'm going to show you that dead symbol, really, really easy. And I want you to watch right to the end because I'm going to do a free giveaway this time. You actually need double the length of wool that your strap is going to be. So this strap runs right up here and around and down the other side. So when I did my wool, I've actually doubled it. So this is double the length that I need. And I've got two pieces of wool here. I've doubled it over, but it is still double the length I need. Now, the easiest way I found, if you've not got a darning needle, get yourself a little thin piece of wire like this and just double it over. And then you poke it through the hole like that. And then put your strands of wool through. Now, I found that when you do this doubled over and it's quite thick, it actually gives a much better, um, I don't know what the word is, it gives, it makes your weaving look a lot better and a lot more full because of the way we're doing it. So I've got that doubled over. And what I'm going to do is, so this is the actual length my handle's going to be for this new bag. I'm going to die, I'm going to tie just a little soft knot. Don't tie it tight because you'll be able to take it out nearer the end. So there we go. So now I've got my six sticks like this, all with the rule on the bottom so we're going to weave in and out the sticks and then the weaving is actually going to come down these threads these long threads you can tie them in a little soft knot all together to stop them from getting in a mess i'll do that in a minute now what you do is i'm just going to throw my wool down onto the floor i've thrown my ball of wool down on the floor now we need a slip knot so you just start with a slip knot just wrap it around your fingers and bring it through the middle so it looks like a little hangman's noose and I'm going to put it over my first stick now it doesn't matter if your sticks are flat or if they're round as long as your weaving's not too tight don't have it too tight now I'm going to hold this end down with the stick and this is my weaving length. 
So I'm going to put all these sticks in my hand. If you want a wider one, you can do it wider. It's a little fiddly just to begin with. Now you're going to fan the sticks out in your hand. Like this. Not too much. Just fan them out like that, but not too much. Make sure that little tail ends down. Now all you're going to do is, from here, you're going to go under this stick and over this stick. Under and over and under and pull it down. Now you're going to go over and under, over, under, over and pull it down. Just pull it a little bit. Don't pull it too tight. If you pull it too tight, it will make your sticks, if you've got flat sticks, it will make them turn. Even if you've got round sticks, what it will do is, it will make them come on top of each other like this. If you do it, if you pull it too tight, it's going to make your sticks all bunch up like that and it won't look very pretty. I'll catch that little end. So I'm going to fan them out a little bit. And then you go over, under, over, under and over. Each one just alternating which way you do it. Over, under, over, under, over. And your rule will actually hold your sticks together. Keep checking on the other side that you haven't gone like that and ended up with a big loop. You don't want a big loop. Just keep checking every now and then that you don't have a big loop. You've not done it wrong. You just have to unwind it if you have. Over, under, over, under, over. Just like that. Now you can do this double as well. It's up to you. You can use wool. You can use string. You can anything. You can use ribbon. Anything that you've got a lot of. You can use material strips as well. But I'll do that on another tutorial. So this is the handle. So if you're struggling to hold all your sticks, if you've not got a very good grip, what you can do is you can either put it on your knee or you can just lay it flat against the edge of your table. Just lay it like that. Make sure they're nice and flat and don't weave too tight. Doesn't matter if they're up and down a bit. That doesn't matter. I'll move it out just a little bit more so you can see. So you just go over, under, over, under, over and under. And then pull your wool. Push it down. You can do this on your knee, whatever's more comfortable for you. And then just push it down. Just like that. Now just keep checking that you've done it right on this side as well, that you don't have any big loops. So I'll pull my table back over. So what I'll do is, I'm going to do a lot more and then I'll come back and I'll show you when it gets down to the bottom to come down the string. You're going to keep weaving and pushing it down. Don't pull it down too far too soon or you're going to end up with your sticks a wee out like this. You don't want that. I found it easier this way. Just bring it down a little bit. Hold it again. Make sure it's not fanned out too much. And then away you go again. And then just give it a slight pull. Just to keep your edges nice and neat. Because if you don't pull it, you're going to end up with big loops like that at the end. So just give it a little pull and push it down. Just so it's all symmetrical. Now that's how you do your stick weaving. It's really simple, really easy. You can do, you can make things with two sticks, with three sticks, as many sticks as you like.
many sticks as you can hold. But I'm going to show you, once we do the body of the bag, I'm going to show you the other little trick that I found for holding a lot more sticks. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a lot more in my strap and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Now I've got my strap for the bag almost down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this, I'm going to first of all, I'm going to cut cut off my weaving wool and I'm going to tie it around this last stick. Just like that. Now I'm going to pull the sticks out. So what you do is you just pull the sticks out. Just make sure that you pull them up so you've got enough to sew in. Now just gently pull down your weaving. Now you're going to have to play around with this a little bit just to get it all nice and neat the way you want it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the needles off. So just snip your wool and take your little weaving sticks off. Oh, I need to pull that bit back down because that's actually part of my weaving. Now just be careful that you don't pull all your weaving up as well. There we go. Just pop them, pop those to the side because we're going to use them again. So I'm just going to play around with it to get it until I'm happy so that it's all an even thickness. I don't want ends of it that are too thick. I don't want big patches of it that are too thick. As long as you leave yourself room to tie in your edges. So what you're aiming for is it nice to be nice and neat and not all bunched up too much. And nice and straight so it's not all curved or anything. As long as it's nice and straight. Now what you're going to do is, with the edges that you've got, if you're making a belt, you would just tie them all together. You would take two and leave two, then tie these two together like that, a sort of macrame style. You can just tie it all in knots if you were making a belt. But because we're using this as a bag strap, I'm going to use my darning needle and I'm just going to over sew the edge. So what you do is you just need to get yourself a large needle. This is a plastic one. So I'm just going to do two at a time. 
So you just sort of over sew it a little bit. And then take your thread through there. Just take it down through and pull it in. Pull your needle out. Pull it down just a little shade so that when we trim it and we straighten it, it'll disappear inside there so you don't see your edges. So that's what I'm going to do all the way along. I'm just going to over sew it. You can do it one thread at a time, but I'm just going to do two strands. It's going to be a little bit quicker and it's going to get sewn into the body of the bag anyway. Just make sure you keep your weaving nice at the edge. Oops. Just a couple of stitches, just over sew it, about two stitches and then just stick it down through all that weaving and pull it out. Pull it a little bit tighter, trim it off and then straighten it so your edge disappears. Now I'm going to do that all the way along, I'm going to neaten off over sew it and tuck all those edges in and I'll do both the edges I've got this side here to straighten out a little bit just to pull it down a little shade so once I've done that and I've neatened all these edges and then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next <laughs> 